how you doing? This is Franklin Cruz. Thank you so much for checking out our weekly videos. Uh, today, High Performance Wednesday, the video that we have coming out is how to conquer and deal with, or how to not just deal with, but how to conquer depression. And from that, I want to you know, tell you a story about how I know about that. Um, probably about a, almost a year and a half ago, I was going through a very, very nasty divorce. Um, I spent over $100,000 uh, in legal fees. I couldn't see my kids at the time. Um, I crashed and I basically just destroyed my own company. And I just did everything that you could possibly think of. Um, when it comes down to doing it wrong, I did it. Um, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't really be a functional human being. And so at that time was the darkest moment of my entire life. And for a very long time, for almost a year, that just transpired. And everybody around me, have you ever found yourself like, like everybody around you, I just kept on telling the same story so I could be deeper and deeper in that depression. And then what happens is, you know, friends are friends and they always try to say, hey, I totally understand you and I totally get that. But then they allow you, at least they allowed me, to keep on repeating that story that just got worse and worse and worse. At, at one point in time, I, I really just didn't even want to be on this earth anymore. I didn't even want to be here. I didn't want to deal with what tomorrow would bring. I didn't see any kind of possibilities. I didn't see any kind of hope. I didn't see anything at all that it would be possible for tomorrow to wake up and it to be better than what today was. I didn't see that. I mean, it was so bad that this is actually one of the um, divorce files. And if you could see this, uh, probably you could zoom into this, how big this is. Um, this is about... 1500 pages and um, and this is actually just one huge book so can you see that okay so so you definitely see what I mean when I mean you know not just depressed but also you get in a sense of like almost being obsessed and at the time, this is actually just one book. Um, actually, I have like three of these. And what I was doing was just building a case on how bad the other person was and how great I was, basically. And in building up this evidence. And what happens is when you build up this evidence, you get enrolled into that story. And that's, what, that's exactly what happened with me. You know, some stuff happened. I'm not going to say it didn't, you know. Um, but at the same time, too, it doesn't really matter anymore. What matters is like, what do you want to create? And so when I was going through this humongous and nasty depression, what I found out and what I realized was like, like it was just getting deeper and worse. Until one day a friend of mine, uh, I was driving in my car and he called me up and he said, look man, you need to go and take this course. It's a, it's a two day thing. And I was like, look, <laughs> I was like, man, the last thing I want to do is take another course. I've already, I've done seminars before. Um, I really don't feel like getting upsold. And that's just not for me. He said, look, man, I'll pay for the course and I'll give you $1,000 you get nothing out of it. So I was like, all right, where, who do I call? Give me a number. So I went. And at this course, what it made me realize was it stopped me from looking at the other person. It started me bl stop blaming the other people around me and started looking at my own self. And when I started looking at my own self, I realized that I needed to be authentic with myself. What kind of possibilities I want to create? What stories in my mind did I actually create? So let me ask you this. What stories in your mind have you created about your situation right now or any kind of depression that you've ever been through? And, or actually, what actually happened? Because at the end of the day, it's like, when I thought about it was this, this is how you conquer depression. I'll give you the tidbits now. And let me just tell you a quick little side note here. When I was going through all this depression, I took this course, I finally realized like what was an interpretation, what actually happened, and what didn't happen, what was the story. I called my wife, because we were only one week away from finalizing a divorce. You know, we already spent $100,000 and tore our company apart at the time. So... You know, we were one week away from finalizing, and I called her from there. I called her, I said, hey, Bridge, just want to let you know, I'm not trying to get back together. I'm, I'm really not. But what I do want to tell you is I want to take full responsibility for my actions during the divorce. And 
you know, I would love for you to come out and, and see me. It was in Fort Lauderdale, and we lived in Tampa. And she said, first thing words out of her mouth, she's like, you know, Franklin, are you at a rehab center? Where are you? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not at a rehab center. But it'll mean the world to me if you can come. So she came, long story short, she did come. And from there, she actually saw something out of it that she could take out of this course. So she took the course. After about a week, she actually said, you know what, I want to take this course. So she did it in the following week when she completed the course. We looked at each other and said, you know what, what are we doing? Why don't we recreate our entire marriage? And why don't we recreate everything and start brand new? And just create whatever possibilities we want to create for us and our family of two boys, a three-year-old and a ten-year-old. I was like, yeah, why don't we do that? So we did. We put the divorce, we just canceled the divorce. We sold our house, we moved, and we started a brand new life with all kinds of possibilities. And right now, as I'm actually doing this video, she's actually, my wife is pregnant with our third child. See, possibilities are for real. Miracles are real. And I definitely believe in, in God and Jesus Christ are real. And that's the only way all this came into play. And so I conquered that. And so I had to take this book and, and put it down and say, you know what, this, this book is no more. That's not me. But the reason why I'm doing this is I want to share with you what I got out of it. So hopefully from this, you could see what you can get out of it. So the ways that you conquer depression is this. You actually sit down and say, look, what actually happened? What was a story that I created? Or what was something that was an interpretation? They didn't even actually happen, but it was my interpretation of what happened. Okay, you get that? So, like me driving is actually what happened. But me driving and hitting my brakes, the person behind me is like, man, this guy's trying to hit me. Well, actually, I wasn't. It was an accident. Well, his interpretation is that I'm a jerk and he's going to try to hit me. So you kind of see where that interpretation comes into place. Well, how many things do you interpret the wrong way? That actually didn't even happen. But you let it take over your life. I don't know. It's a lot, probably. Or it was for me, until I really got what was the story, what actually happened, and what was an interpretation. So the way you conquer it is you figure those things out. And whenever you get aggravated or depressed, I've been there, still conquering it to the day. You sit back and you say, what actually happened, what was the story, and what do I need to do to become a high performer? Because at the end of the day, it's all about performance. When you're in inaction, you're performing but it's in action. And so that's when you get depressed. When you're in action, it's high performance. What do I need to get done? Schedule it out and get it done. That's what it's all about. That's how you're going to be able to conquer your depression and take it to the next level. And so I'm committed that every single week and any kind of product or anything that we put out there, we're 100% committed that you take action, conquer what you need to conquer, take it to the next level. With a, a result, a measurable result. That's what it's about. God bless you and your family. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any kind of questions or anything, send us an email. It's probably something to click on around here. You can click on that too. Thank you.